Sony lenses are quite expensive, and you know it. So they are cool and they are well built. They are really everything. I don't know. Anyway, today I want to introduce you to extremely well built and extremely sharp uh, line of primes made specifically for Sony E mount cameras. This is the i series lenses by Sigma. It consists of four lenses 24, 35, 45, and 65. So, what's inside the box? We have a lens, full metal construction, then a magnetic cap. They also provide a regular plastic cap and a full metal hood. So those rings are very metallic, so they are very smooth. The aperture ring is clicked, so it cannot be de-clicked. Like you can travel with them. Those are really compact. You can just fit them in a sling bag. I have a 24 mm and a 65 mm lenses, and they both fit together perfectly inside this bag, along with my Sony a7 III. You won't need a really large backpack to travel with. So those are relatively light. They are perfect for a short-term trip if you don't want to log around a lot of photography equipment. I am just uh, in love with those lenses. I'm in love with those primes. They are so compact. They are so lightweight. They are sharp. They are extremely sharp. Which brings me to the image quality. As you can see, these images are razor sharp. They are full of contrast and these 24mm f3.5 can focus very closely to the subject, as you can see right here. Now let's talk about the price. 65mm being the most expensive, $700, and the 45 and 24mm being the cheapest, $549. Sony, however, did launch their own line of mini primes for mirrorless cameras. All three of them are priced at $600. In my opinion, Sony lenses feel a bit more cheap and I prefer Sigma more premium feel. But that's just a personal preference. And now I want to quickly mention a couple of things that I'm kind of mixed on. So the first one being that the 65mm f2, so it has a filter thread size of 62 millimeters, which is kind of unusual. 100% sure that I do not have a step up ring from 62 to like anything. And the second part that I'm kind of mixed on is that all four of those lenses from this lineup, they have a focus by wire system. And while shooting video, this might be a little bit problematic, but well, I do not intend to shoot a lot of video with those. I have quite a good manual lenses for shooting videos. So those are my primary photography lenses and you will have all your primes with you. 